Hi guys, it's Sheila. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying the Dyson Supersonic. I received this as a Christmas gift and it's kind of funny how it happened. So my boyfriend overheard me talking about the Dyson Airwrap and how much I've wanted it since it actually came out. So he took the initiative <laughs> and went into the Dyson website and ordered me the Supersonic thinking that that's what I was talking about. So I wanted to try it out. I was very intrigued by the attachment that this one brings. I just thought that spending $400 on a blow dryer was a little bit excessive and I can kind of justify the air wrap because of the attachments that it brings, but I haven't received it yet. Um, I ended up purchasing it myself. So I guess I'll have both and we'll be able to review both uh, for you. But um, this is a color that I picked. It comes in different colors and there's also a limited edition right now that's like navy with some gold and it's super pretty. I went with pink just because I'm on a pink vibe right now and it's a nickel and pink color. Um, I got it from the Dyson website. There is other retailers that sell it like I think Bath Bath & Beyond, um, Ulta, Sephora, uh, Best Buy does have a sale right now if you want to check it out. I think it's like $60 to $70 less and on the Airwrap they also have it $110 um, discount for the holidays. So. Since I order from the Dyson website, I got other items like the um, presentation case, which is right here. It's kind of heavy. Uh, I got the presentation case, which I don't think it usually comes with it unless you buy like the limited edition ones. And I also received a comb and a brush. I don't have to come with me here, but these are very good tools and I'm glad that I did receive them. Not that they're like, you know, not that it does matter, but this is how the blow dryer looks like. It's honestly really sleek, really nice. The air comes out of this side and then it has the buttons on this side. So it has an on and up button, which is this one right here. It has a cool shot, which is right here on the lower side. On the left, you have your um, fan speed. So we have three fan speeds. And on the right, we have three heat settings, which do light up. But honestly, when you turn it on without any of these dots on, um, it does get hot. So I would assume this is the first heat setting and then two, three, and four. Today I use it on the third heat setting, which would be the second red dot, and I'll show you that in a second. So it's honestly super user friendly as far as settings, um, but the only thing that did bother me about it is that it blows so much air that things were falling, um, I have paper all over, like wherever paper was on the table, it's honestly like it's now on the floor. The cable, this is not heavy at all, the hair dryer itself, but the cable is. So as you move it around, I, I kind of had it on my table a couple times. It was like knocking glasses over. <laughs> I don't know if this is a disaster or I'm a disaster. We're going to try it out today. I honestly do like how it ended up, but I wanted you guys to see the demo and how it worked. Uh, for you to be able to decide if you want to keep this or not. The reasons that I did um, end up purchasing the Dyson was because I'm trying to put a lot less heat on my hair, but honestly, I didn't anticipate to be buying the blow dryer, just the air wrap, but I'm kind of happy that I do have it. I'm just deciding if I want to keep it or not because I'm not going to keep it if I'm not going to use it. So I washed my hair today with the Way Thick Hair um, Shampoo and I also use a thick hair mask. I didn't use a conditioner, but I did end up using the Way Leave-In Conditioner and then also a little bit of the Alaplex Bonding Oil. And I do like how my hair looks. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more oil on the ends just to make sure that it's sealed and I don't have any frizz. But overall, I think it turned out really shiny, so I liked it. I already applied a leave-in conditioner from Way. I'm trying this for the first time. They just sent me a sample from Sephora because I made a purchase. This was one of the options, and I've heard a lot of people say that this is amazing, so I wanted to try it, and I put it on my hair today. And I'm also using the Olaplex Bonding Oil Number no. 7. I just put a little bit of this kind of on my ends. I also have their um, Bond Maintenance, but I didn't want to use it today since I'm using a new tool, and I just wanted to see how it worked. Um, which is like the products that I use normally. So let's go ahead and uh, separate my hair. I'm gonna do probably a couple sections on the bottom and then a couple sections on the top and one center one. So let's do that. Okay, so this is normally how I would separate my hair. I have one big section on the top, kind of loose on the back, so that would be its own section. And then I'm gonna take this clip from this side and put it over here so this is, uh, this is where I'm starting. 
So I'm gonna be using this round brush. I got this from Amazon. It's called the Nanotechnology Ceramic Ionic. So I hope it doesn't get too hot. I normally don't use, uh, I don't use blow dryers much, but it's a long story on how I got this blow dryer. So I had to purchase a uh, round brush. And then I really wanted to use this um, head for the Dyson, which is supposed to just blow out um, air in a much, I guess, uh, gentle way for you to like dry, dry all your hair. But when I was doing my makeup, my hair kind of dried too much and I'm afraid to just dry it almost, I don't know. I'm gonna have to use it at another time, unfortunately. And I wanted to just show it on the video, but I'm gonna start with this one for this tool, which is a really interesting attachment. It was one of the ones that I was the most excited for. Um, and I love the fact that you can like move them around to depending on where you need it. The cord is really long. It's plugged in really far from me, but it somehow is reaching. So that's really interesting on how that's happening. I'm gonna start with this one. And it's, since it's gonna be so close to my scalp, I'm gonna start in really low setting. Hear some people say that this is not loud, but to me it's like a higher pitch. So it's really annoying, especially when you have it really close to your ear. But um, I use it on full speed and the second setting this attachment is supposed to help extend your curls and you're supposed to kind of hold it and move this down like this, which I just see that it dried my hair. It must be something that I can use when I have like all my hair down um, and it's really damp and I can just go like go over it and then section it. But in small sections like this one, I don't really see like the advantage of using this. So I'm gonna switch to just the regular hair dryer tool and I'm gonna go in with my round brush. I'm also gonna use probably the third setting, uh, the third heat setting which is not the highest. Okay, this is blowing things around me. Things are falling to the floor. It's kind of interesting. It dries my hair really quickly, but I did, um, I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering on how to use like a round brush with a blow dryer. So please bear with me. I'm gonna get better at it. So I'm gonna keep that heat setting. It seems a little too hot, but I don't wanna go with a lower one. I'm gonna try that, let's try that again. Yeah, I think that looks great actually. So my mirror is like not too big, so I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing that too. Just a lot of issues today in today's filming. <laughs> With this section now, and as you guys saw, I'm just having trouble like going upwards and I really like doing that. So I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to do that, but we'll figure it out. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit hard to use this tool on some cases. I don't know if it was because my brush was not gripping my hair really well, but I just found it like it was blowing my hair all around and it was just drying my hair really quickly, but making it really frizzy. And to make sure that it was like smooth and straight, I had to go over a couple times, which is something normal that I usually have to do. But I just found that because my hair was dry, I would think to myself like, oh, my hair is done. It should be fine. And then when I let go of um, that strand of hair, it would be like super not curly, but it would have some curls to it. And if I'm low drying my hair, I would like it to be very um, straight. Okay, that looks super smooth and straight. So I'm really liking it. I'm getting, uh, I'm kind of remembering like how to use a brush and I'm loving the ends. The ends are looking so nice. My hair just looks like 
It feels so much different, so much uh, smoother, and the texture just looks so much better with the products that I've been using and like the um, just using less heat, honestly, made all the difference for my hair. Okay, I'm going to the back. I'm gonna reach back there, especially because this will probably all blow away once I turn it on. I still haven't gotten used to the fact that everything just like, it just throws air everywhere, everywhere. I also, comparing it to the T3 Airbrush Duo um, that I was using, which is not a blow dryer, it's a hair dryer brush. This one feels a little bit more stiff, like my hair doesn't feel as soft as when I was using that. And I would assume it's because this one is a little hotter um, and is also very close to my hair and my scalp. I wouldn't say that this was um, uncomfortable around my scalp whatsoever, but in some instances, if I would put it really close, I am so impressed on how fast this dries my hair. But I am gonna do like another section. I'm gonna part this in two. I didn't end up using the cool shot at all, but I think I'm gonna use it right at the end to make sure I blow dry all of my hair um, and kind of set it in place with the cool setting. So that's something that I will probably do at the end. And this is something that I do use um, whenever I used to use a blow dryer like years ago. I okay, this is getting like really hot, really hot. I'm not sure if I should go a lower setting, but it feels really nice. I figured a way to actually make this work. You take your section, you put your brush where you want it, and you follow very closely, not like touching, but so closely all the way down, kind of taking your time and smoothing it out. And then on the ends, you do a little flip to give your ends um, that nice little curl at the end. You see? Pretty easy. I would recommend clipping the hair that you have already done because it's just gonna blow away. If you normally don't park your hair when you're styling it, this is probably gonna drive you insane. But okay, it's there. So hopefully it won't blow away. I think, I don't think I like this brush. I don't think it's like gripping onto my hair as much as I would like to. It's a process to learn how to use this. <laughs> um, we'll see. Most of it, I've been just trying to figure out how to hold the brush and how to section my hair without it blowing my other hair that's already styled all over the place. But I think I do like it. It's just a little bit, it takes a little bit to just get used to. Um, unfortunately, this video is gonna be all over the place because of that, but I think I do like how it's looking. It's much harder than I thought, so I feel like I put it, sometimes I put it really close to my head uh, just because I was like trying to do too many things at once and didn't notice and it didn't like burn my head or anything but it, I definitely felt it really hot on my ear but I mean it is a blow dryer so what well what can you expect 
I really like this attachment. I think it was honestly really nice. The fact that it's a concentrated um, blow dryer, it makes it so easy for the for the air to go exactly where you want it and kind of go down your hair and dry it super quick. I was really impressed with the timing on this hair dryer. Normally, because I have so much hair and my hair is so curly um, and has so much texture to it, I have to go in and probably blow dry my hair for 30 to 40 minutes. I was able to do this in 25 minutes. Um, I would add five minutes there for talking and I was doing a TikTok, <laughs> but I did end up really liking how this worked. Love the fact that I can turn it around. Um, and I had some user error on some areas. As you can see, I, I just didn't know like how to hold the blow dryer with the brush and how to hold my hair. But I think it's something that I'm gonna have to get used to. Okay. I still have to fix some things. Let's fix them. I'm gonna put my hair all the way down like this. And then I'm kind of gonna run through with the brush all down, all throughout. Okay, this is how my hair looks. Um, I think it looks really good. I love the, like the volume that he gave me. Um, the ends look great, I think. It's a little puffy in some areas and when I run my hands through my hair, um, it's not, I think it's smooth, but sometimes it gets like, like right now, it gets stuck. So I don't know if it's a brush that, I don't, I don't really like that brush that I got um, because it doesn't like rip my hair really well. But now I'm going to try the flyaway attachment and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on to what I feel like, if I will keep, continue to use it, um, and how I think it did. I assume this is really hot because, yeah, it's definitely hot. I don't feel comfortable like just pulling it, especially because this one gets stuck in there pretty good. But I think on the back of it, okay, that was not bad. And then I'm going to put the 
flyaway attachment. Honestly, this gives me such satisfaction to just be able to clamp that in there. So I'm gonna put it like this because I wanna go like upwards on this area, but I don't know how I'm gonna hold it. So I think I'm gonna do like this. I'm going full speed and on the first red dot, which would be like the second setting of heat. And I think that did give me some volume right there, but now I'm gonna use that for the flyaway. So I'm gonna go, I guess this way first and then we'll turn around. So take a good look on how my flyaways are looking. They're, they're definitely there. They're there for sure. So let's do it. I do see a difference, but not so much up here because I have a lot of baby hairs growing. But I'm gonna go onto the other side. I think you're supposed to take it all the way down your hair. Honestly, I think that it worked a little bit. It's not a miracle worker, so I do still have like the static of blow drying. And like I said, I have just a lot of baby hairs there. But as far as like an overall look all the way down, I think it did work. I honestly did do think that it worked. So hmm, final thoughts on the Dyson Supersonic. So I'm gonna try to put everything in the case for you so you guys can see it. This is made out of, I would say like fake leather. Um, it's really nice. I didn't want the silver, I wanted the tan, but they sent me the silver because they're out of all the colors and they didn't tell me, it just kind of came. So that was okay, I guess. Um, in the inside, it's uh, like a felt. So it's really nice. It's honestly really heavy. Um, I don't know how exactly they expect you to put all the items in here because this cord is really big. So I will show you without the cord because it's plugged in, but with the cord, or sorry, with the hair dryer and the tools on the bottom, expect the diffuser because this one just doesn't fit in there. Um, so I didn't include it. Um, this is like packed tight. So I would say you can probably fit the hair dryer with three attachments, not the diffuser or the uh, flyaway one. And this would probably fit. I wouldn't call this like a travel case, more of like a, just you, to keep it at home because of how heavy it is. And honestly, it's just really bulky. Um, so yeah, I don't know who designed this or why it doesn't fit all the attachments. I think because originally they only had three attachments, but I'm pretty sure the diffuser has always been part of the kit if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know why it wouldn't fit in here. Um, if you wanna just keep the hair dryer by itself and keep the attachment somewhere else, I think that would probably be a smart idea just to kind of prevent um, any dust or anything going into it. The filter, that's what this is called, the filter. Thank you, the filter. Um, and yeah, that's all the items. Uh, I do feel like there's some little areas here where I didn't go over it really well and that was just my fault. Um, and those tend to be like my problem areas usually, but so far, like I really like how it looks. Things to note here, the attachments I think are really well thought out. They all work really well for what they're intended to do. Um, and I do like that. If I were to say which attachments I will use the most, it will probably be the concentrated um, blow dryer and probably this one because when I do come out of the shower, I don't normally do my hair, my makeup um, and my hair is very damp. I go right to blow dry my hair. So I do have to go in with um, just the blow dryer itself. I usually just kind of do like this and dry the middle of my hair not so much the root, but the middle, and I don't wanna dry the ends as well. But I just kinda of take away like the water, um, the excess water of my hair, and then go in with a styling tool, uh, whether I'm using a hair dryer or hair dryer brush or whatever it is. Um, I also think I'm gonna be using this one just at the end to kind of make this little thing that I was doing. I, would, I don't know what to call it, but I kinda of like how that looks. I think I would end up using this just how I just showed it, not so much to put the flyaways away, because I 
I, although I think it did work because now I'm looking at my hair and I'm like, hold on a second. I don't think I have any flyaways other than like right here. Hmm, interesting. I still have to try this one out a little bit more. Like I said, I just went in with a section of my hair. I think this would work really well if I have all of my hair down and kind of go like this. I would also recommend going in with a low heat setting for these two and this one probably just the first setting. I wouldn't put any higher than that. And then the diffuser, I wanna do a video with my hair curly, but honestly, I have diffusers and I have used them. And I do like the outcome that it gives me, but I don't think I know how to use it. I don't think I put the right products on my hair. So I've been looking into that. I've been watching a lot of tutorials and a lot of videos, and I do have most of the products that I think I need, but I just haven't had a day to like dedicate to my curls. But I do think that I can get a really nice, um, look out of it. So I'm gonna turn around, give you guys the whole look so you guys can see and tell me how it looks. I think it looks great. I think my hair looks healthy. It looks shiny. The texture of it looks really nice. Um, it's definitely straight, smooth straight. It doesn't have any curls to it, but um, maybe after this video, I'll go in and kind of like twirl it around to see what I can, what I can do. But it's not like, it's not that I don't like it. I just, don't really know how to do all those things that those people do in the videos and I'm trying to learn do I think that this is worth the $400 price tag um, no <laughs> I don't know yet um, I haven't used I've only used it once so I don't I don't want to say that you have to go out and buy this do I think this is a much healthier option if you do use blow dryers Yes. Do I think this is a good option if you have texture curly hair like me, if your hair is really thick, if you have to spend a lot of time blow drying your hair? Yes. If you are used to um, having a hair brush, um, like a hair dryer brush, this is definitely going to be a little bit more um, time consuming. Not time consuming, but just strength consuming, I, th I guess, because you're using two things and my left arm honestly hurts from like twisting this thing and going up and whatever. Um, this is definitely less heavy than a normal bro dryer. So I give them kudos for that. Um, it's also prettier. So that does matter to us girls for some reason. Um, and it does bring different attachments. So it's, it's really nice. I mean, honestly, I don't think that this is something that you ha have to go out and get but so far I do really like how it works. I will probably keep you posted and see if I notice any long-term um, differences, but my hair does feel very nice, very smooth, and I dried it in a, in a much shorter period of time with much less heat than I would normally use if I was using a blow dryer. So I like the fact that it has a cool shot too and different um, heat settings, so that's, that's really good for me. It's also very easy to clean right here. It didn't bring, or at least I didn't see it on the box. I've seen other people say that it brings like a little cleaner for, for this part right here. Um, but maybe I just didn't see it on the box, but I will look. But so far, I think I really like it. I think my boyfriend did good, accidentally. <laughs> So that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you're gonna be picking this up or obviously if you're watching this video, you're either interested in it, you've been watching it for a while and you're considering purchasing it. So let me know your thoughts. I didn't see anyone on YouTube that kind of had my texture hair. So I wanted to also have a video like that because for me at least when I watch tutorials and I see people with other textures, it's hard for me to make a decision based on like what I need, knowing that my hair like needs a little bit more love. Um, so yeah, I hope this is helpful and I really appreciate that you guys are watching this video. I'm gonna link everything down below. Please don't forget to subscribe before you go and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.